the goal of fingers is to make them even and to be able to move quickly and evenly. You want consistent hand position with your left hand in the way you hold the horn and in the right hand in the way you hold the horn. Notice that I'm getting to the third valve slide. Why? Because my ear is telling me if I don't move that, it's out of tune. So this kind of goes back to music or your ear guiding your physical aspect of approaching trumpet. Lip slurs, how do you approach them? That's what's going to make any exercise work for you or uh, give you substantial gains in your flexibility. We're going to talk about syllables that you use when you play the trumpet and when you move a note. How do you move a note from a lower note to a higher note? A lot of people would say you move more air, you push through, and you do always want to move your air forward. That is always a given with anything in any approach of what we're, we're doing on trumpet. But how do you move that note up? Flexibility, range, and endurance are all very closely related, and it has to do with the syllables that you're using. Okay, a couple of things I want you to notice about that. I just started in the middle just to give you an idea of going a little bit faster. You still want to hear that pop. You still don't want it to be a huge thing to move the note up or down. 